So the key takeaway of this article is that the major complication rate following right heart catheterization and right ventricular biopsy is very low. And the main complication rate that was found was worsening of a patient's tricuspid regurgitation. Hello, my name is Mitch Padkins and I'm a cardiology fellow at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And today I'd like to discuss my article entitled Risks of Right Heart Catheterization and Right Ventricular Biopsy, a 12-year single center experience. First, I'd like to thank all of the other co-authors on this paper, as well as the primary investigator, Dr. Mandeep Singh, for all of his hard work and guidance on this. So um, first of all, I'd like to talk about why we did this study. If you look at the data or at the literature, there's a real lack of uh, any sort of data regarding contemporary right heart catheterizations and right ventricular biopsies in common cardiac catheterization labs nowadays. Thus, we really wanted to explore what complications, if any, were caused by right heart casts and right ventricular biopsies. So we had a database that had all of the, all of the procedures performed at the Mayo Clinic cath lab between 2002 and 2013. All in all, after some exclusion criteria and uh, narrowing it down to right heart casts and right ventricular biopsies, we had about a little over 17,000 procedures performed during that time period on a little over 10,000 unique patients during that time period as well. We found that the complication rate, the major complication rate following these procedures was actually very low on the order of 21.6 and 20.8 complications per 10,000 procedures performed regarding um, right heart casts and right ventricular biopsies respectively. The most common complication that we found was worsening of tricuspid regurgitation, which was typically compared to an echocardiogram before and within two to three days after the right ventricular biopsy or right heart cath. Overall in our cohort, we found that tricuspid regurgitation worsened in about 1.3% overall. And when we looked at patients that got right ventricular biopsies, those complication rates happened around 5% or so. Interestingly, we found that when right ventricular biopsies were performed using echocardiographic guidance, that complication rate was a little over 9%. This is likely multifactorial because the majority of our right ventricular biopsies are, occur on transplant patients, typically within three months or so of their transplant. And this predisposes to a whole host of issues because these patients are typically within the acute recovery phase after their transplant, are still ill and have multiple other comorbidities occurring during their hospitalization and during these procedures. Finally, we looked at deaths that occurred in our cohort around the time of their right heart cath or right ventricular biopsies. We had a little over 208 deaths that we identified in our cohort. And ultimately, after reviewing all of these deaths and patients, we found that none of the deaths were related to the procedure itself. They were all likely related to the underlying acute illness for which the patients had the right heart cath or the right ventricular biopsy. All in all, this is the largest study to date regarding the risks or the major complications following right heart caths or right ventricular biopsies. We found a very low complication rate on the order of 21 and 20 complications per 10,000 procedures performed of right heart casts and right ventricular biopsies respectively. The most common complication was worsening of a patient's tricuspid regurgitation. And we found that no deaths were related to the procedure itself and deaths were likely related to the underlying acute illness. For future studies, we would really like to look further into the worsening of tricuspid regurgitation since that was the most common complication after right heart cath and right ventricular biopsy, and explore further options for non-invasive ways to determine heart failure rejection, since those are the majority of patients that undergo right heart cath and right ventricular biopsies. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you enjoy our manuscript and the Mayo Clinic proceedings. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. 
There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.